tell you what I got to do man. Uh, made me feel so bad. Because I was, you know, I was deeply in love. We, you know, when, when we got married, you know. And, uh, but little by little, things started just taking a turn for the worse. First we just started disagreeing on little stuff, minor stuff. Next thing you know, we're bickering all the time, you know. Pretty soon we're getting in some pretty heated disagreements. <laughs> getting in some pretty intense arguments and stuff. Pretty soon we're yelling at each other, screaming at each other, man. Uh. Next thing you know, we ain't even talking at all, right? So this one particular night, I was laying in bed, pissed off. I was so mad I couldn't, oh man, just laying there, man, I couldn't sleep. Too mad to sleep, you know? And I just staring at the ceiling and just, uh, I look over at her, she's way, way over at the other edge of the bed, far as she can get, you know, all curled up in the fecal position, <laughs> snoring at the wall. And I started thinking about those marriage vows. I started thinking, <laughs> started thinking, Till death do us part. And I started thinking. <laughs> death. <laughs> but you know, I'm not entirely stupid. I watch, you know, I watch CSI. First 48, all that stuff, man, forensic files. I know the husband, that's the first guy they look at, right? So, so I decided I'd go another route, right? So I figured, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be a man about it, sack up, and just go ahead and give away half my shit. <laughs> That's what I did, but I had a plan. My plan was, I'm gonna try to recoup some of this money by writing a song about her ass. Yeah, and that's what I did. My next steps, what?